Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of a series I'm calling Let's Go because you go leave the house to draw. This was a series idea I had a couple of months ago at this point where I did a video about the Koi Travel Watercolor Kit and I thought it would be fun to start off with drawing boats because it's just a 30 minute walk away and why not? Let's go draw some boats. So let's go. So I checked the weather to make sure that I could go on a specific day because I knew it was going to rain the next day. The weather only said it was going to be cloudy and uh, it started to sprinkle. And if you don't know, watercolors don't exactly go well with water because they reactivate. So at first I was thinking, I'm just gonna tough it through and then I was like, wait, no, water, get out of here, get out of here. Thankfully it was nothing more than just a sprinkle that went on and off for about 20 minutes. So I just kind of hid under a tree for a little bit and waited and I was good to go. The rest of the day was very sunny and it got so hot. And the little area I was drawing in was so perfect for drawing because it was right under a wall, I guess, where the street is. So the sun was shining down and making the shadow where you could sit. Plus there were trees. It was just perfect. I honestly didn't plan to draw here, but as I was walking to the original place I was going to draw, I saw all these boats and I just, I don't know why I forgot about this area, but I'm very glad that I saw it. There were constantly boats entering and leaving the docks. There were cruise ships. Were they cruise ships? They were bigger ships. There were small little water taxis. There was all sorts to draw here. Plus there were plenty of planes taking off from the water itself. So I am pretty interested in making that into a future drawing video. I gotta say, I did not plan to do the primary colors of the boats right away. As you can see, I have a yellow boat, a red boat, and a blue boat. And I thought that was really funny, but it's kind of cute, right? These were just three different boats that were in different positions and their designs, I guess, were really different. So I just wanted to start off with some loose sketches to get warmed up. I think the blue is my favorite of this batch. So after the first batch of sketches, there was something I noticed that I know I've had a problem with for a while and I feel like I don't use my eyeballs enough. The first yellow boat was so squished, there wasn't that absolutely slanted front it had. I made it so squished like a pug. And although I did better with the red and blue boats, I just wondered why I wasn't able to see and then produce what I saw on the page. It, it, really, it really made me think why I wasn't paying enough attention or if I was just getting lazy. So it was something that I wanted to focus more on the second batch of warm-up sketches and first of all I definitely wanted to draw those H2O taxis because they were so dang cute and so small and they were just going in and out and it was just so adorable. I had to draw them and I wanted to put a lot more effort into the taxi because I thought it was really cute and I loved the yellowy colors on it. Though it's still very loose and there are still a lot of problems with it, but like I said, it was a warm up. I also threw in three quick sketches on the side of it because my hand smeared some paint on the page and I said, to heck with it, here's some quick sketches. Plus a tourist came behind me and was watching me draw and although I don't normally mind, I have a cold right now and I was sniffling so much and I really wanted to blow my nose because it was very drippy, but I don't like blowing my nose in front of people because it's gross. Don't ask. And I just didn't feel like dealing with someone watching me. So I quickly, quickly threw this together. And at this point I was feeling quite warmed up. I wanted to take a break to look around, eat some lunch and get back to a more complete sketch. 
This is a tourist area, so I figured let's blend in and take a look around and look like a tourist. Let's take some pictures together. Let's let's shoot some B-roll. So like I mentioned earlier, my main focus with this final and more detailed sketch was to use my eyeballs and to pay attention to the form of the boat and really just, just pay attention, Casey, pay attention. And although, spoiler alert, it's still very squished, I don't know what my problem is. I don't know if it's because I'm working on a small piece of paper and I just kind of feel cramped and maybe that, I don't know, is that an excuse? That's probably an excuse. Either way, I am a lot happier with this sketch than I was with the other ones. Although they were quick little doodles, I just wasn't happy with them. I feel like they were sad, which is why I wanted to do a more complete sketch where I do the water, I do the sky, I put more effort into the shadows and just overall make it look cleaner and nicer. With my warm-up doodles, I wanted to really pay attention to the anatomy of the boat. How does the boat form? How does the boat bend? Where are the boat's muscles? Basically, it was just a lot of fun looking at all of the different shapes and sizes of boats. Going into this, I honestly was kind of dreading it, to be honest. At first, I wasn't sure what to do for my first Let's Go episode, I suppose. I have a lot of ideas of things I want to do, but I wanted to do sort of a test run for this episode because I wasn't sure how I was going to do my camera setup. I had to go buy a little tiny tripod to put my camera on because all I have is a four foot one, which I'm not going to drag 30 minutes down to the city. So I thought this was going to be a very easy sort of trial run video because it was going to be in a chill location and I was just gonna draw some boats. But like I said, not into boats, wasn't looking forward to it. Things that are technical like cars and buildings, I'm not into, but I think it is important to practice them anyways. And I am glad I pushed myself because it was really interesting. At first, I was not having fun. I was kind of stressed about it. I didn't like my sketches, but after I just took a walk around, took a breather, took in the scenery, became a tourist, had some lunch, I came back with a fresh mindset, I think, on this project. I think just being able to sit down and relax and just not worry about what I'm drawing and just do some studies is, it was really nice and I really absolutely enjoyed this first episode of this series because like I said, even though it was kind of stressful at first and I wasn't looking forward to it, in the end I had such a fun day just going out and drawing and using my eyeballs and, and looking at things and thinking about drawing them. So this final boat isn't perfect, but I think it's fun. It, it looks pretty interesting. It's a boat I would never draw. And honestly, it's kind of given me inspiration to do some future ant illustrations where, I don't know, maybe it's a boat cruise with lots of ants on the boat. Didn't think I would find inspiration out here in this touristy dock area, but you know what? I think I did. Oh, and I think my color chart blew away during my second sketches, so I had no idea what colors I was picking up, so that was fun to do during this illustration. Dang it, now I have to make another color chart. And that concludes our first episode of Let's Go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had fun doing this. I cannot wait for future episodes. I had fun doing sketches of these boats. It was great. It was good. And the final sketch has that weird loose watercolor, almost like a mix of realism and cartoon for me. I don't know. I think I quite like it. And like I said, I can't wait to do future episodes. Let me know, did you enjoy this? Do you have any ideas for places I could go? I already have a huge list, but I'm always up for suggestions. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Michael Young, Zach Abstract, Lex CS, Shelby, Megan, Danielle Firecracker, Chris Side, Davey Tomato, 
Cool Guy Josh, Mina Blix, Hey Lucy, Eddie, Louise Chocolatier, Mackenzie, Maya, Leah Shibutani, and Dad. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access to my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye!